how did DeepSeek make a reasoning model that's within striking distance of OpenAI's O1? This is a deeper dive into the technical paper, so if you want to learn more about the high-level takeaways, check out my earlier post about that. Today, I'm in the airport, so this post is going to be a little bit less polished than usual, so let's dive in. There are three findings that this technical paper covers. First is that reinforcement learning is really important. Typically, when you train a reasoning model, you often include supervised data as well as reinforcement learning data. However, they were able to train a version, DeepSeq R10, that relied solely on reinforcement learning, and it actually showed really strong reasoning capabilities. Second, given that first finding, they trained DeepSeq R1. And in this case, they used much less supervised fine-tuning data than other LLMs do today. In order to get these really amazing results, they used a multi-stage training approach. Third and final point, they tested knowledge distillation. So specifically what they did is they took a smaller model and then tried to use just supervised fine tuning on data generated by DeepSeq R1 to distill knowledge into that smaller model. Then they took that same exact smaller model and tried to only use reinforcement learning to compare whether or not just taking that smaller model and using reinforcement learning would be better than using knowledge distillation. And they discovered that having that larger model and distilling knowledge from that larger model resulted in better performance. All of this resulted in models that are way cheaper to train and to Deploy and still get a comparable performance to O1. I'm Diana, and I break down tech startups and AI without the hype. Follow for more.